what's up everyone uh, i'm gonna do a video here showing you uh, the importance and how to understand and use the guidance method on uh, trimble gcs 900 seen a lot of issues caused over the years uh, by not understanding this or using it properly and you know it can make life a lot easier if you know what it's doing so when i say what we're talking about uh, when i say guidance method i'm talking about this little green line here on the blade Okay, so over here we got the red box. That's our focus point. The green line is our guidance point. Green line, what's important? Uh, real quick about the red box. So that's our focus point. So what that's going to do is it's going to, you can see, shift this from side to side. Really all that's changing is where the focus is going to be on the machine, on the screen. It's going to keep that red box in the middle of the screen. And, you know, if you're looking at elevation or certain items for your text items, it's going to go off whatever tip you're focused on. Okay, you can see the way I currently have it set up, the green line is moving with it. I'll show you how we do that and how that changes. Um, so this is a little bit older version emulator. It's 12.7. If you're, you know, most guys are all running 13.10 and newer now. Um, this process should be the same regardless, but just be aware that this is a little bit older. Um, trying to kind of meet in the middle here because there is a lot of systems out there that guys haven't spent the money to get up to to you know 13 10 or 11 or 13 or whatever you're at so in here when you go into menu should not have to be in managers mode but we'll go to this guidance method so in here this is on 3d one point custom most typically anytime you get in here it's going to be on 3d one point center so one vertical guidance point in the center of the blade so this is what the majority of the machines I get in are running on um, you know, it's up to you. I think this is perfectly fine. Um, I'll show you why that can get a little troublesome. Uh, one point focus. I like this. It runs a uh, basically, you know, six tenths from the edge of the blade to run your your uh, guidance point. Um, what's nice is as you swap focus points, that'll swap from side to side. Two point tips, if someone wants to leave a comment of why you'd run that, I'm sure we thought hard enough we'd come up with a reason, but I've never ran it for any reason. I'm sure that's it's in here for a reason, but I've never ran it. I'm sure it has its place, but I typically, you know, if I'm in a machine for any period of time, I do like to run in one point custom. I almost always run it right around two feet. I'll, you know, depend on the machine, it changes, you know, the width of your blade, but you know, six size machine, I like to be about two feet on the inside of the blade, just if for seems to work good over the years for what I've done and then I, I know where that green line is off the end of the blade so it's also kind of a reference for me to know that's two feet especially your back cutting curb I mean there's other ways to do that but it's nice kind of a little easy way to do it and then you can do custom you can set where the two points are um, so let's just start off in one point center so we're in one point center and then in here you can see it says adjust cut to avoid overcut so I'm gonna actually open up a uh, paint somewhere so as you can see there that has a just cut to avoid overcut yes so basically what that means is that let's just use the toe of a slope here you're gonna see some awesome drawing skills so if that blade if you're trying to cut into this slope here and you're in automatics and you have that overcut set to yes what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a new slope to protect both assuming these are both design slopes in the model it's going to protect this slope and our you know our bottom toe slope grade and so that's when I get the call of hey those blades are doing really weird stuff well it's protecting both grades so if you turn so this is yes told you to get some awesome drawings here so that's yes so no what no would do depending on where that green line is, if that green line is right here on this bottom slope, it would allow you to cut into this side slope because it's only gonna focus on this design that you have down here. It's gonna ignore that the tip is on this slope. So that would allow you to cut into the toe of the slope or there's a lot of different ways this comes into play. So everyone has a different preference. I say if a guy's new, it's a pretty good idea to have him run yes. Uh, most guys, after they run the machine for a while and get used to automatics, they switch that to no. Um, so, you know, teach their own, play with both of them, see what you like. So, 
Uh, we'll leave it on one point. We'll go back out here. As you can see, now it's in the middle. Now when I change my focus point, it does not change. Let's see if I got to Of course, I don't have a good spot with a ditch. Let's uh, see if we can select a different site. Maybe, maybe the road has... Yeah, no, whatever. Okay, now well, we're sideways on it. Let's see if we can turn here a little bit. I should have done this prior to. It would have been smart, but, you know, whatever. Trying to get turned here for you, but it's not going that well. Let's see what I'm doing here. So uh, if you guys are interested in this emulator, I can uh, put a link to download this. It is incredibly handy for troubleshooting and or you know loading files in to see what they're going to look like uh, in the machines. It's very useful for that. It's very easy to use, but you can get in here and try different configurations and, and different things. So I use it all the time for a variety of different reasons. But uh... Okay, so now you can see on here. So now, this is where that green line becomes important. If that green line was on this slope here, it's going to try to cut that slope. If it's on here, as you can see, we got these grade breaks. We're going to zoom in here. So you see you got these grade breaks. So this becomes important because wherever that green line is, depending on this grade break, I'm assuming this is probably 2% or whatever, but if you're running down the crown of this road and that green line gets on this side, but you're intending to be on this side, that blade's going to try to bounce back and cut this other side. So really important to understand and pay attention to where that green line is. So see when it's in center, when I swap that back and forth, it doesn't do anything for me. So like I said, most of the time run in, most people run in the one point focus in my experience. But like I said, if you get in, you can do the custom, but the focus is fine. But so now, you know, you're still in yes. So as you can see now, now that green line moves with the focus point. So if you're running down a slope one way and you're coming back the other way, it's really easy to swap it to the other side depending on what you're trying to do. Um, so really important to pay attention to that. It's going to save you a lot of headache cutting in automatics, getting into slopes. And this applies for, uh, I think I got a video out there with Topcon talking about the same thing. It's a, it's a orange triangle. I call it the carrot. Um, Earthworks, regardless of every, every system has some sort of method of telling that blade where to go um you know of what you're trying to do because you know the machine's only as smart as the information it's given so you it really needs to know what you know what you're trying to build and how you want to attack it so uh, use that information how you will um so yeah if you guys got questions on how to use the guidance method um i can do i plan to and do a lot more videos of a lot of different items in here if you guys got anything specific you want to see or learn about Please shoot me a comment, email, whatever you want. Uh, just so you guys know, we're working. We have all this stuff on YouTube, but you can also go to uh, myconstructiontechnology.com. We're working to try to make this a really seamless process. We're trying to improve this every day, but we really want to expand this library and start, you know, trying to make it where, hey, if you got a guy that's needing help, he can go to our website. It's on the phone it's literally the first thing it pops up we're not trying to you know shove product down your face but you can click on tremble and you can see hey we got you know really easy to see i got gcs or we've got plans to get some more earthwork stuff out there um nope oh, i guess i should show like what it does but and and then these are just the youtube videos just a little more organized easier to get to working on getting some documents and and some frequently asked like troubleshooting stuff on there uh, Komatsu stuff, you know, we're working on getting as much stuff out there as we can to try to make it easy for someone out in the field to uh, get the answer that they need quickly and easily without having to, you know, stop what they're doing and, and call somebody. And then what we've learned is over time, the more people watch these videos and utilize them, you know, you do it one, two, three times and all of a sudden you've learned, you know, learned the whatever you're needing to know and it just becomes kind of part of a part of your knowledge base. So hope that helps. If you guys got anything, give us a shout. Thanks.